Good evening, everyone. Welcome. This is a Choice Cafe here in Miami. My name is Thierry Gauss, also known as Superlight. I am the founder of New Ange Cafe that closed last December. It was a restaurant just like this one here, which was a plant-based, raw living food restaurant, buffet type. So I created all these dishes and I was uh, offering them. The reason why I closed is to be able to do this type of lecture like I'm doing today, to teach a little bit more in the global, rather than serving the local community. So, who knows? I might open a new one. <laughs> anyway, this is my card. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, you made a choice to come here uh, because you probably heard about the title that maybe emphasizes you to uh, be curious. And the reason of this lecture is how to become your own health expert in less than an hour. Actually, I'm going to do it in 15 minutes because when you find out how simple it is to be healthy, you don't need an hour to understand. So I flashed around this graph, uh, which I call the Alchemistic Codex for the evolution of the Aetherian race. Because we're not the only one in this universe. <laughs> and we are a certain species where body is made to a certain way. All these body, flesh, bones comes from Earth. It's created from Earth from minerals. But what triggers and empowers it is the vitality. Vitality is the source of energy. And there's all the source of energy which is more chemical like hydrogen, not oxygen. People believe that oxygen is a true source of energy, but it's not. Let me give you an example. If there is no light in this planet, there will be no life. Three quarters of the sun is actually, the mass of the sun is hydrogen. Also, 17 billion, 17 billion years ago, when the Big Bang happened, uh, was created, the first form that happened was gravity. The second one was hydrogen. Then there was helium and all that. So hydrogen is truly a, a most important source of energy. And there's a reason why water contains two hydrogen and one oxygen. Well, oxygen is really just the carrier of hydrogen. And about water, very simple, something you should know. When you drink water from a bottle or a tap, straight from the tap, the angle between the hydrogen is 104.5 degrees, which is a weak angle. That means the hydrogen bone, the hydrogen cell, is not vibrating properly. It doesn't, it's not coherent. Because the water travels through pipes at 45 degrees angles. It had been processed with chemicals. It doesn't recognize its environment and becomes stressed. So when we drink stressed, weak, water, which I call thick water, it does, it, the body cannot absorb the energy, the intelligent information that it carries through the hydrogen bone, compared to a, a water molecule that will come from a mountain source at 120 degrees angle. Okay? When you have this angle, 120 degrees, you release the potential of the hydrogen to be able to enter your body to your cells and tissues and give what it needs to be able to repair itself, rejuvenate, and be coherent. When you have a molecule that is, the angle is 120, it kind of linked with some other ones. This is 120. And basically what you get is an hexagonal shape water molecule. So this is oxygen, you get six oxygens. This is hydrogen, and this is hydrogen. So they are 120 degrees. And if you do recognize what it is here, you, you see a snowflake, right? Because snowflake is basically pure water. When everything is linked at 120, the molecules link together, click like a puzzle. And when you have this sacred geometry form, should I say, that is recognized by the divine creation, because it is sent by the divine creation without altering, the body can recognize it. You see, we are beautiful machines. We are bioelectrical machines that resonate at certain frequencies. What organs resonate at like a thousand different frequencies. So everything is energy. 
like Dr. Carrie Rims, a student from Albert Einstein, seven PhD, the guy was a genius. Uh, if you go to uh, search his ionization, ionization, he is actually the guy that invented this uh, redox meter or Brix meter, which is an instrument to be able to quantify the energy in food source. Hmm. So when you go shop in local markets, in farmers market, you take a tomato or an apple or something and you squeeze some juice right on the screen, you look it through the light, and there's a scale that will tell you the brick spitter, the, the amount of sugar that contains the fruits and vegetables. And you go through a chart, a table, because all fruits and vegetables contain different things. What's the name of that? It's called a brick meter or a redox meter. And um, uh, for example, an apple, a poor result, a poor, a poor score would be 8, and the strongest would be 16 compared to uh, a cow, that will be 12 and 18. So everything is different, so you just follow the scale. So anyway, Karen means, say, it's not about the food that we eat, it's about the energy that the food has that we can assimilate. So there's two very big important things here. The energy in the food and assimilation. Because if your body is stuck with accumulated waste since you were born and is there, you can eat the best food in the world. You can go buy whole foods uh, every day, spend 400, 500, 600 dollars a month on the best food. Your body will not assimilate the nutrients. You think it does because you feel good? But it's all in the mind because it doesn't absorb the nutrients to convert into a vital life force. It's just this obstruction. So I do recommend highly to everybody this book. It's called the Mucusless Diet Healing System. It was written by Dr. Po I'm sorry, Professor Arnold Herrett, who passed away about 60 years ago, who left us with this legacy. It's a very condensed, informative uh, book that talks about mucus. Because from him and also Dr. Berg, and you'll see on the chart, which is the first chart, Dr. Berg says that this food that makes mucus and this food that eliminates mucus. And they both agree that mucus is the source of all inflammation. And inflammation is the source of all diseases. As simple as that. So you can be healthy, you can live without any disease or illness for the rest of your life, if you understand what I'm saying to you right now. Food that makes mucus will make you sick. Food that eliminates mucus will make you happy and healthy and live longer. So, I mean, that's the goal, you know, the economy is hard and we don't want to be, uh, we don't want to be sick and stressed. So we want to be vibrant, feel of energy every day so we can produce what we need to do every day, daily basis. So our health is the most important thing that we have. A vehicle, a body is a vehicle that transports us to be able to do what we want in our lives. A mind is very powerful, as you know. We can do, have, and be everything we want in our lives. But if the body cannot follow, we're stuck where we are. Or we just regress. There's a Chinese proverb that says, life is nothing else than a river. If you don't swim, you go backwards. You need help. You need to be strong to be able to swim against the current and get there where you want to be. And we all a community. If you understand what I'm talking to you, we can all help each other because the market out there, the, uh, the propaganda about, uh, about food that makes mucus, make people sick because everybody has an agenda and all those corporations just want to make money on it. The government, government in Greek means control the mind, by the way. Just want you, 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 and you, and you, and me <laughs> to be sick and stay sick for the rest of our lives. To be on those beds, and that's how the economy works. Because if everybody is healthy, There'll be no more doctors, there'll be no more meds, there'll be no more people eating meats. All this industry will be gone. And imagine a world where everybody will be healthy. That'll be quite dramatic for the economy. But there's a way. There's always a brighter way. When you go to a room full of darkness, you can't see. But if you light a match, in the middle of this room, that would be as big as this. Just a little single match. Darkness flees away. Understand? If you go in a room full of light, and you come with a little spark of darkness, 
the dark, the, the room will never get dark because light is more powerful than darkness. What I'm saying to you is that we are the bright side. And as a community, we can work together in the same direction. Saint Exupéry, who wrote the Little Prince book a hundred years ago, is a French poet. He said, love is not about to stare at each other's eyes, but to look together in the same direction. So we brothers and sisters can sit together, look in the same direction, and go toward the path of understanding that we have the capacity to, to have everything we want in our life. Understanding the divine truth of creation. There's no such thing as religion. Religion to me is nothing else than a pole that you can hold on during the storm of insecurities. You understand? When you are secure, understanding who we are and where we come from, and who is the divine God, the divine creation, where we come from, then you understand there's no need for a middle man to tell us what God wants us to do. We can have this information from within. And there's a good way to do it. One, eliminate obstruction in your body. That means eliminate obstruction in your mind. When you can start to live fully, exercise your body, be vibrant and lively, you can start to think properly. You can make better choices for your life and also for the ones that depend on you. I'm talking about children that have been malnourished. Those cereals nowadays, you can look at one of my videos on uh, YouTube. I made an experiment to prove to you that they put solid metal of iron in the cereal. There's a reason they do that. I'm not going to go in details, but check my videos. They are targeting the children to make them sick. We are living in a generation now where the children will pass away before their parents. And you think that's right? I don't think so. We can live up to 160 years. I won't live 160 years because my parents didn't know any better and I ate all this food and it's just my body. I guess maybe I can. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my challenge. And my challenge to you that I can be a living proof, first of all, not eating meat because meat is not a life force. We are not carnivores, we are herbivores. I'm going to repeat myself for the, uh, the sequence. Uh, jaws can uh, go left to right. Because just like all the herbivores, compared to carnivores, can only go up and down, right? Carnivores, herbivores. And the length of our digestive system is 13 times the size of our torso. Like all the herbivores on this planet Earth, compared to carnivores, which is only six times the length of our torso. Also all carnivores, the wild dogs, have an acid gastric that is 10 times more acidic than us. Talking about acidic. Everybody believe that alkaline water and alkaline diet is healthy for you? Good news, or maybe bad news, if you don't want to believe me and trust me. A cancer cell is alkaline. A healthy cell is acidic. We have about 13 different pH levels in our body. And there's no such thing as thinking that you can drink 9 pH or 10 pH water and thinking you can raise your pH level. The body does it itself. And you don't do it. And you don't want to do it, because if you go one pH higher, you're dead. Out of those 13 pH levels, 12 of them are acidic. The only alkaline is our blood, 735 to 745. Everything else is acidic. Our gastric is 2.8, even our skin is acidic, 5.4 pH. The best food in the world, by Dr. Karim's again, is lemon. Is lemon acidic? Yes, it is. It's pH 2 but it has an alkaline effect. You see, the body doesn't take one thing and use it as is. It's like people believe that they have to eat protein to make protein. If you believe that your body can take protein to make protein, then you believe that a cow needs to drink milk to make milk. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't work this way. The body takes something and converts it into something else. So to make proteins, we need something else than proteins. We need amino acids. We need chlorophyll, we need vitamins, we need minerals, we need air and water. Restructured, intelligent, coherent water that is recognized by the body to be able to convert it into a vital life force. So this uh, 
eight essential amino acids that the body cannot make, because the body makes all its vitamins, all its proteins, and all its amino acids. You see, food is not a number one source of energy. It's maybe the 10th or the 8th. It's only 10 or 15 percent of energy source. My biggest energy source is Earth. And people take it for granted, or they ignore it, or they don't think about it. But grounding is the most important thing you can do on this planet for yourself, for your health. And I'm going to explain this to you right now. Then we'll talk to the chart and we'll be done. <laughs> this is the Earth. The Earth is negatively charged. There's plus and minus in everything. Positive, negative, up and down, cold, hot, short term, male, female, black and white, etc. I can go on. Opposites. That's what creates resistance. That's what creates energy. The atmosphere is positively charged. The sun is positively charged. Okay? We don't come from the sun. We come from the earth. We are body, flesh, a material body is made from the material from earth. I'm talking about the elements. The unlocked elements. The minerals. So this is us. And we are negatively charged. The trees are negatively charged. Everything that is grounded is negatively charged from the earth. What you see on the outside that is negatively charged is not water. Water is neutral. But it's this, the exclusion zone around it. People call it the, uh, the surface tension. You can check on the uh, video from Dr. George Pollack who discovered about this exclusion zone. You see, water has been a very feminine subject that people want to ignore because when they started to say that water has memory 50 years ago, they lost their jobs, they lost their careers. And doctors, you know, they spend a lot of studies and time to become who they are, then they lose their career because they say something about water. So nobody wants to venture about water. And George Polak, thank you, Mr. George Polak, find out that when the water is in contact with the sun, it creates an exclusion zone around it that is negatively charged. It's also known as liquid crystal. That's why when you jump in a pool flat, you hurt yourself. These liquid crystals film on top of the water is what creates that surface tension that's going to make you hurt. That's what those speed boats break apart on top of the water. Although you jump on the water, you fall liquid, right? There's a reason for it, that's why. And I can teach you right now why clouds are formed in the sky. Very simple. You have positive ion charge in the atmosphere. Some zones that have more than others. When the water evaporates from the ocean, the exclusion zone is gathered around this particle of water. Now you get negative and you get positive. Just like man, they get together. Now this water molecule, what do you think it's going to go? Right here, right here, right here, or right there? Right there, right? Because there's more positive. It's attracted like a magnet, so it's going to go there. This other molecule is going to go there too. This other one's going to go there too. That's what creates a cloud. Now when the water drop, what do you get? You get a droplet of water that spin around itself, that is negatively charged around it, that spin around the positively charged atmosphere, creates a friction. Water falls down, it collects, it, it gathers an electric charge. So when the water goes down, you get this negative charge that goes back to the earth. When the, the worms are, are friends that convert toxins into something beneficial for us, which is males. When the worms travel into the soil, they create a tunnel. Because when they travel, they, they have this uh, lubrification that hardens behind them. It creates those tunnels. So when the water goes falls down, it, it follows those tunnels to irrigate the soil deep down, to transfer this energy, this electricity to the soil. Same thing with lightnings. Lightnings will send negative ions. A lightning is nothing else than it's ozone, right? O2. That will become O3. Actually, O3, that becomes O2. Sorry. So you get more allergy. A lot of science here. Thank you so much for your patience and, uh, and uh, attention. I know it's... Uh, <laughs> But what I'm saying is, when you use pesticide and herbicide and all that, you kill the worms. That means the water cannot go deep down in the soil, 
you create floods. And that's why we have a big problem with our food nowadays. The food doesn't contain, even when it's organic, it doesn't contain the vibrant element that it needs for us to survive. Because, again, if there is no light in this planet, there will be no life. Everything comes from here. It's the, it's the hydrogen. Three quarters of the mass of the sun is hydrogen. So when the plant absorbs this energy, convert it to carbohydrates, we eat these carbohydrates and we convert it into energy. ATP, etc. But when the food that grows doesn't have vitality in the soil, you have no vitality in the food. So you might have a green plant or purple from photosynthesis, but you don't get the minerals from the earth because the earth, the soil, is depleted from minerals. A plant takes the color minerals, colloidal, colloidal minerals from the soil and convert them into ionic minerals. People who buy minerals in the market in colloidal forms, pills, tablets, or liquids, what they do is they poison themselves with heavy metals because the colloidal minerals is the size of an atom. An ionic is the size of an armstrong. The difference between an angstrom and an atom is 10,000 times the size. It's like you chew on sand compared to chewing on salt. The sand cannot dissolve in your mouth, it cannot dissolve in your body. It gets stuck somewhere as a heavy metal. Do not poison yourself, do not eat colloidal minerals. Find ionic minerals, which is the same size of minerals from plants. But if the plant doesn't have a healthy soil, it doesn't have the minerals. It might have a little bit at some extent. And I do suggest this product called Adia Clarity, which contains all the minerals from planet Earth, 120 plus, all in ionic state, in the proper proportion that is made for us, because we are freshwater creatures. We are not ocean water creatures, so zero light and all that stuff. It's okay, but it's not just in the proper, in the correct proportion for a human body. This is liquid crystal. It will convert the water into a negative charge. You take one, you put one teaspoon in one gallon of water. So you get 96 teaspoons in 16 ounces. So you can convert, you can purify 96 gallons. So this is a six month supply for one adult. Okay. I do offer this on my website, the mucuslessdiet.com, and also my own version called the Water Power Elixir, which is a declarity and ends with worms. But we're not going to talk about this. I'm not here to. Uh, I'm here to share some information with you that will change your life. If you understand, and I'm glad we record it, so you can go home and check it back. Read, and every time I mention something about it, I will link it to another website where you can go deep into the studies to educate yourself. Because I believe that everybody, everybody, lack of knowledge. And knowledge gives us the understanding. Actually, I would say the equal standing, because we're not supposed to under anything. Why? It's, this is from the judge, right? You understand? <coughs> yes, I understand, because I'm below you. But why should I be below you? You're a human being, you're just like me. So I equal stand, or I overstand. When you understand, or you equal stand things, you get wisdom. That means you can make better choices for your life. Because every time you buy something, it's actually a vote for some the people that make it. Mm. So you understand that the ionic minerals, I get clarity contain all that. So you get your supply of all the minerals from planet Earth in this. It only just not supply the minerals, but it also be struck to the water, to hexagonal shaped water, like I explained earlier. And it will also deactivate the contaminants in the water. Because they put stuff in the water, you know? They put arsenic, uh, lead, mercury, and the worst is fluoride. Sodium fluoride goes into your pineal gland and calcifies it. The pineal gland is the size of a raisin, it's supposed to be flexible. When it's calcified, it's not flexible anymore because it's like it's shield. It's like a, a cock, it's like a, you know, it, it can, can function properly. And the panel gland is what gives us the consciousness, the awareness. And when you're not conscious, 
you dump it out. That means you're going to absorb every lie, and you know there's a big lie going on out there that's been there for thousands of years, telling you that you cannot be healthy if you don't take a medicine. Telling you that if you have a pain on your arm, you're going to have to heal this, this arm. That you cannot heal the rest. You have to take in consideration that your body is a whole. You can actually heal your head from the feet. And this is a way to find out. Step their foot on garlic, you will taste the garlic within a minute. And skin absorbs everything. When you take a shower, consider the impurity in the water because you absorb all that. When you swim in the pool, consider you absorb all the chlorine in it. I know swimming pools. It's been years I haven't swim before. Because when I go there, I can swim under the water open my eyes because I don't want to bang my head into the wall. And even if I open a little bit, they're red. So it tells you what's in it. I love to swim in the ocean. We're very fortunate here in Florida. I walk barefoot, and that's the best way to conduct yourself. Connect yourself to the earth. Absorb this electrolyte negative ion charge from earth, which is antioxidant. You heard about antioxidant. Acai, blueberries, blackberries, and all that. That's a good way. But the best way, and the most cost effective, is you don't have to buy all this food that's expensive. Ground yourself to earth. Walk barefoot. Go to the park. Lay down. When you eat plastic, when you wear plastic shoes or you drive on rubber tires, you actually disconnect. You know the worst place to heal is hospitals because you're in the store and you're on the bed. You disconnect from earth. Now you own the positively charged free radicals. What is a free radical? A free radical is, a, is a, an, an atom with electrons around it. And it's very unstable because it's missing electrons. So when the free radicals go into your body, which is, it's missing electrons. So the first thing it does is search to any cell and steal an electron from it. So now your healthy cell is missing an electron. What is an atom that's missing an electron? It's a free radical. Now your healthy cell is an electron, just like vampires. You don't bite, they become that, right? So that creates huge amount of health alignments, and accelerate the aging process and all that. Free radicals is the worst thing you can do to your body. And you know what's the worst source of free radicals? Cooking oils. All oils. All of them. Doesn't matter. When you cook oil, you create a power source of free radicals. So all cooked oil foods is actually free radical foods. And that's the worst thing you can do to your body. When you heat food of 118 degrees or 108, somewhere in between, not only you kill the enzymes, which is necessary for digestion, you kill the life force, you kill the, uh, the, uh, the energy in it, you kill the vitamins, you kill the amino acids, you kill everything. We're not meant to eat heat foods. We're meant to eat plant-based living foods at room temperature. So when you evolve the earth, when you disconnect, you are actually loaded with free radicals. Not just from the atmosphere, but also from your cell phone, from the radio wave, from uh, satellites, from TVs and radios and, and those electric poles and everything. We are bombarded by free radicals. So it's very important you protect yourself. The best way to protect yourself is to ground yourself. What's the best way? Is a foot. You see the bottom of our feet? It is the best way to ground yourself. You stand to the earth, and the negative ions try to uh, travel through your entire body to provide free electrons to free radicals. So they can leave your healthy cells alone. Because when the cell is diseased, you know what it's going to do? It's going to duplicate itself to another sick cell. And you don't want to do that. You want to rejuvenate healthy cells. It's the same way that the Earth is working. When the Earth sends that a tree is sick, it will do send a signal, a frequency signal to that tree. So the insect around it, mostly bark beetles, will go to that tree to destroy it, get rid of it. That's nature's way to protect itself. Because if the, seed is, the tree is sick, it will create seeds that are sick. And then you will create trees that are sick as well. And then you create you know, an ecosystem that is not recognized by the Earth. So the Earth is an intelligent form 
that will get rid of things that is not proper to survive or be on this, this planet Earth, on the surface of this planet. So we have to be, we have to understand that it's very important. We have to be in relation with nature, get back to nature, and live through the laws of the divine creation, which is golden ratio, so vegetal tunes, eat plant-based living foods, foods that go bad. Because if food doesn't go bad, it's bad for you. You know those pepperonis that will last for a thousand years? <laughs> cheese. Everything is cheese. You, you watch TV, every advertisement, every restaurant has cheese. I love cheese. You love cheese? I'm French, you ask me. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> but cheese is nothing else than pasteurized plastic. When you cook plastic, when you cook oil at 350 degrees over five hours, this food, this oil, becomes plastic. It's a chemical reaction. Now, when you eat plastic food, all fast foods, you know, oils, cooked food, plastic, food that can stay in the shell in the store for years, okay? Dead food, food that has no value. They tell you it has this and this and that, but it doesn't. And if it does, it cannot be recognized by the body because the body takes as a whole. It's like taking a vitamin C or vitamin B12. The vitamin C will not work without another vitamin, and this vitamin will not work without other vitamins. It's like milk. People think that milk is so good for us because it has calcium. A glass of milk contains 31 milligrams of calcium, okay? And 300 milligrams of magnesium. For the calcium to be absorbed by the body, it needs the same amount of magnesium. There's no other way. So when you drink a glass of milk, you only get 10% of calcium, not 100%. The rest is gone because it cannot be absorbed. It doesn't have the same amount of magnesium. Do you understand? And milk also contains something called HGF1 hormone, human growth factor 1. That's what makes a 60 pound calf to become 600 pound cow. When you eat this, the body doesn't recognize it. It's not, it's not meant for human consumption. It's meant for cow's consumption. It's like, if you drink cow's milk, why don't you drink dog's milk? You'll say, yak, but it's milk from an animal. It's the same thing. And then you have plus bacteria that is actually living. So the body has to fight against that. Also, casein. Milk is 80% casein. Casein is being used by uh, manufacturers of labels for bottles of beers and wine. That's what makes the glue. Because casein is glue. You drink milk at night, you're in the morning. That's mucus. Kids have acne. What do you think that is? It's nothing else than mucus trying to get out of the body. Right? Mucus, ladies and gentlemen, is nothing else than fermentation of the wrong food in our body. And now disease is the only, there's nothing else than the body efforts in trying to get rid of it. When you stop eating processed food, meats, dairy products, food that is made for our body, you will eliminate mucus. Your blood can flow naturally all over without obstruction. Now what Professor Arnold Eret says, see I love gravity. <laughs> there's a strong pull. Dr. Eret says, vitality is power minus obstruction. Vitality is power minus obstruction. Obstruction, you understand what it is. It's mucus formation from the wrong foods. The power is, what is it? It's the ether. It's the space between you and I. It's the life force energy, the chi, the prana, we call it. And vitality is what gives us the, the, the power to live and to be vital, the, the energy, the law of everything. So when you eliminate obstruction, what do you get? You get power, you get vitality. That's the key of longevity, that's the key of health, of true health, to reach optimum health, that the body is actually, your body is meant to be. So very quickly on the graph, and that would be it. The Berg's table is um, basically a list of foods that make mucus, and a list of food that eliminate mucus. So if you have a choice, which food would you eat? Of course, the food that eliminates mucus. The next table is called the Boris scale. Andres Boris, in 1932, um, has discovered a vitality scale, or life force energy scale. 
So you see the, the line in, bit, in the middle that actually is linked to all the three graphs. Uh, the body is 6,500 angstrom, which is the equilibrium for our body, for our human body. Anything below 6,500 uh, bobbies is considered as depleting or illness. Yeah. And you see, cook food, steam, cook food, grilling, and pressure cooking in order. Because the more heat you put into the food, the more life force energy you, you destroy. Same thing with tap water, milk, and soda. Soda is 1,000 bobbies. It's very, very poor vitality. And then you go above 6,500, which is life enhancing, well being. And that's what we're looking for. Fresh living fruit sprouts with grass juice. With grass juice is the highest we can get in this dimensional level, materialistic form, which is 9,000 pounds bodies. And it stops at 10,000. Anything above 10,000 is considered the ethereal range or place of power. There's a way to reach 400,000 bodies with pill beds. I bought a lot of these. I finally found a company, and it was just like the days before I made this lecture, so I'm very happy about this. Now, those pill beds are called magnesium oxide. They are little rocks that you put into the water, and you leave it, you leave the water for 12 to 24 hours. It does restructure, raise the water to 400,000 bodies, super high in vitality. I put those pill beds in my water last night, it had the bubbling effect. It was just so powerful. I felt like it was oxygenized. It was beautiful. And I drink it. How did it taste? It tastes clear, crisp, clean, fresh, just like mountain spring water. And then I add the minerals to it. And I'm in heaven. I made my own water out of tap water. You don't have to carry gallons of water and break your back. You can start with tap water. This will convert, like I say, sodium fluoride. It will change the polarity from positive to negative. So sodium fluoride to calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride is actually beneficial for you. It will convert it into a fluid form that the body can get rid of it through the natural secretory channels, like a fluid. Because on your body, so let's say this is your body. When a toxin goes enters your body, which is negatively charged, this is a toxin that's positively charged, just like magnets. Positive, negative. Now you have a toxin that's stuck to your body for years. The only way to get rid of it is change the polarity from, from positive to negative. Now it repulses itself. And the body can get rid of it. Through sweat, breathing, urine, you know, and everything else. Your body is much more than what you can believe. It heals itself. There's no magic pill out there. There's no special diet out there. Give your body a break. Break fast. There's nothing else than breaking the fast. Fasting is nature's remedy to heal yourself. Skip breakfast in the morning and you'll feel much better. Skip a whole day out of food, one day a week. That's one year for seven years of fasting. Many religions in the world are implementing fasting in their, in their lifestyle. There is a reason for it. Because when you fast, you give your body the chance to heal itself, especially the immune system that helps you to fight against any type of viruses and diseases and yeast and all that stuff. And the last uh, graph is called the human voltage. I call it emotion scale linked to the uh, human voltage. Because we are a bioelectrical machine. We run on current. When we sleep, what we're doing is we are recharging at trillions of cells. We need sleep. We need at least eight hours. And we need to follow the circadian rhythm of the Earth, which is an hour before midnight and somewhere between sunrise. Because when the body, when, when the, uh, the sun rises, your body temperature changes. And it's time for you to actually um, get rid of toxins from the day before. Your body cannot block it during the night, and that's why you don't have accidents in your bed. Although you're losing conscious, you actually experience a right brain experience. The left brain is shut down, this is a right brain. Um, Dr. Marie Zenek, you too, right here? The right brain experience. Uh, she travels all around the world, she gives conference in the White House, I mean, she's unbelievable. I, I highly suggest you to read her book, The, the Right Brain Experience. 
uh, on how to become more creative, more imaginative, because the right brain is linked to everything else. The left brain is materialistic, it's, it's egocentric, it's, gonna, it's verbal, it's uh, mathematical, it's the thing that, that limits us. So when you shut down this mathematical left brain, which is basically, our society is dominated by left brain, basically. So I'm not impressed by people who have Ferraris and beautiful house and travel the world all the time. I'm not impressed about this. What impresses me is knowledge. Because I see all these people having so much money, they don't know shit. They don't know how to. They don't know how to heal themselves, and they certainly don't know how to heal the, the, the children. And I think it's the most important thing that that someone can do nowadays. Stop receiving. Start giving. Be compassionate, be grateful, be loving and caring for your parents, brothers and sisters, and all animals on planets. Leave them alone. I mean, it's okay to eat meat, I guess, once in a while, right? You socialize. I mean, food is an art, after all. When you combine them with wine, it's wine pairing. I'm a sommelier. I, I, I used to cook food. I love it. It was fantastic. But there's ways now to do it with vegan foods, and I highly suggest that you check my recipes, and you'll be amazed. Okay. Our food can taste so beautiful, but it's not out of my heat, and it, it doesn't have meat in it, except for the meat. So, this graph is very simple. Um, a cell, a normal cell vibrates at minus 25 to minus 25, minus 20 to minus 25 millivolts. It's very small, subtle energies, but everything is small. The less the better. You know? It's like music. The beauty say music, it's not about the notes, it's about the silence between the notes. Subtle energies, think about it, more powerful than anything else. Meditate, close your eyes, stop thinking. When the thought arise, because they always come, acknowledge it, let it go. Stay focused on your breathing, which is something that comes from you and it's automatic. When you do that, you create a sharp mind that connects you with everything, with the divine truth. When you think, you become what you think. And people don't know how to think nowadays. Stop thinking, just be. Be in the flow of the divine laws of attraction. Be loving and caring. And when you do that, you go, again, you go through the plan of your life. Because I believe that we all have a plan for our life and we have a plan against our life, like yin and yang. When you don't do what you love, you do it for a reason. You're not happy, you're stressed. You leave the plan against your life. You feed the drag on. That's going to repeat itself through this cycle of patterns that come over and over. People are miserable and unhappy. They don't understand why, because they repeat the same thing. That's insanity. Albert Einstein said, do the same thing over and over, expect a different result. It doesn't happen this way. You have to change. Very simple. Are you happy? Yes. Keep doing the same thing. Are you happy? No. Change something. Are you happy? No. You want to change something? No. Stay unhappy then. It's your choice. It's your life. I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to inspire you, to motivate you. There's a beautiful life is beautiful. Forget the wars, forget the news, shut down the TV for a while. And connect with nature, connect with your, your fellows. Get off the phone, start talk, talk to people. Start looking at people's eyes. When you look at someone's eyes, they trigger, they go somewhere else, they're afraid. What are you afraid of? I'm going to connect with you. When I drive and I look at someone, they think I'm, I'm staring at them for something wrong. But it's not true. I'm trying to connect with love. Because that's what I do. I, I love to love. I love to love and I love to be loved. Give a smile, receive a smile. They are encouraging. So again, sorry, I'm losing track. They're really exciting. So a cell rejuvenation starts at minus 50 millivolts. If your body cannot reach, if your cells cannot reach minus 50 millivolts, it cannot duplicate a healthy cell. It cannot rejuvenate. And you know what happens? It gets sick. It loses its powers. And what happened? Earth, recognize it, it senses it. 
Nature speaks to you because nature feels you. Just like the trees. It will send a signal to it and send all the insect to destroy it.